This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Bet Fred. Delighted to be joined by Josh Warrington. Josh, I'm going to skip, skip the pe- pleasantries, if you will, because I know it's late and you'll be wanting to get away. Talk to me about that performance. Too strong, too fast, and in the end, blown him away. Yes, in the words of Les Albert, there's la bouffe to this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm obviously a bit pumped up. I wanted to put performance on. Um, you get an idea from someone first on, you're pretty wild, but I, I've you know, been training real hard for this one. And uh, I felt strong in warm up, in pads and whatnot, and I thought the first couple of rounds while well, well, I'm really pumped up, and while he's coming for the fight, that's when he's most susceptible. And, um, you know, first round, I was a bit reckless myself, just getting a feel, getting an eye, trying to read him. Obviously, it's a 12 round fight, I've got many, you know, I've got, I've got an engine, I know when to pick it up, when, when to take it down. and. Obviously, you know, got the first round that way, had an idea, I'd planned it a few times. Second round, it would just like sell it down, so we go from there. And obviously, that's the first knockdown, second knockdown, and all with the finish. One thing we spoke about at the press conference earlier in the week, yourself and Sean were very honest in admitting that perhaps in the build-up to the Galahad fight, you may have taken your eye off the ball a tiny bit, you may have been thinking about those big fights. You, you showed everybody there was no banana skin tonight, you were fully focused throughout camp. Did we see that tonight, that difference? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, mentally, today, whilst I was saying, like, at home earlier on, you do have them little things, you do, they do come in, you just think, what the hell, what if, what if that upset does happen? But I think I train that hard, like, I cover that eventually. Some fighters may just go through motions, and I can see why, I can see why, because I think, oh, this guy's not in my level, and they watch tapes, and they think, damn. Uh, to look at the record, I think he's not been in, in, with anyone that I have. But I don't think like that. I think that anybody could beat anybody. Happens in boxing. Look at me, I was like a false one against Lee Selby. No one expected me to outbox him, but I did. So I try to take that mentality into every camp. This guy could bring someone else. He might catch a lucky punch. So that's why I would stay motivated and stay focused. I think a lot of what people were citing tonight with yourself, it wasn't necessarily the speed or anything else, it was the strength. You look very strong in there, you look like a big, strong featherweight. How good are you feeling that this weight? Your dad told me you can make this weight for the rest of your career if you wanted to. Strong like bull. <laughs> um, you know what, for, for, for a while, um, I've really come into my own at this weight and we talk about timing, peaking and all that, and I think over the last few years, I've really started to come into my own. I mean, you look at, like, you know, st- Stop Dennis Sealan. I mean, I know I stopped him late. There was a lot of pressure. Like Max would have finally. Johnny, shut up! I'm doing a fucking interview. Try to be funny, aren't you? Eh? <laughs> We're being professional, aren't we? I'm sick. I'm sick of paying for your rehab. <laughs> See what I mean? And then you're gonna waste it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll move on, Josh. Final question. <laughs> fi- fi- final question from me before you and Sean come to blows and you have your second fight of the evening. Uh, the, the big question now is what's next? Is, is the Frampton rematch the most makeable fight of those big fights? I don't think it is the, the, the most makeable fight. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's, there's fights all over. There's, uh, there's obviously Garrosa Jr., there's, there's Kanju, there's uh, obviously Shakur Stevenson, who's. who's, who's you know, in line to fight for the title. I mean, you know, Santa Cruz and Valdez have gone now, but there's, there's people out there. There's people out there. There's, if I'm to, to win another title, I'd love to have a rematch for him. But um, he's a great, he's a great fellow, great fighter. But um, I want to test myself against someone else. You know, it's a, it's a short career, and you want to have as many names on your CV as possible. All right, Josh, I'll leave it there for myself. Thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social, and congratulations. Thank you.